what's good what's good welcome back to investment trade with jacks hope you're well we're gonna go over solana uh nice little push today sitting at 20 bucks and uh, up 3.9 on the day see mark of 8.23 b 24 hour volume 979 million let's hop to the chart so i think we're just completing this wave five if we wanted to look at a real real micro count any diagonal one two three four never broke below the two <laughs> And now pushing up in a wave five, boom, boom, before coming down, in my opinion, that's what I think is likely. Um, we have a bearish divergence on the hourly chart. As you can see, we're creating a little bit of a higher high, lower high on the RSI. If we look at the four hour time frame, lower, lower highs on the money flow, money's flowing out while price is pushing up, which is a signal that the, the move is weakening. Potentially, nothing is promised. Um, but potentially the move is weakening and on the daily chart as well um, The money flow is all the way back up to the top section. You can see the last time it was this high We did see a pullback um, And we're pushing right up to the top of this wedge here We are getting back above those EMAs on the daily almost printing the bullish cross But I do think it's likely that Solana is going to pull back in a wave two and then bounce and then you'll see the bullish cross And it'll be see you later for our friend Sol. Um, that's what I'm looking at. That's what I think is likely. So our next resistance here is about $21, 21.78 lines up with the wedge. As you can see, rejection here, support here, rejections here, resistance here. So uh, $21 could act as resistance for our friend Solana. Complete this wave five, and then these bearish divergences will play out here. I can actually adjust the pullback zone now with the recent high. Just let me make sure that this is pulled correctly. Take a fib retracement from the start of the wave all the way to the top. And here's your pullback zone for the wave two. If we were to drop from here, if we push a little bit higher, then obviously it will be adjusted slightly. In between 1441 and 1650 for the wave two, minimum target 38.2% fib level at 1745. So that's where you would look to enter your next long trade. I may drop a signal now that we're coming to Solana. I may jump into a trade on the next pullback. I trade the impulse, not the correction, with it as an Elliott Wave trader. And then we'll look for continuation to the upside. No matter if we push up a little more or not, we will eventually pull back. And that's where we'll look to enter a trade. Just locked in juicy gains on our Bitcoin trade. We're in three other trades right now, and I'll drop some more signals. It's only 10 bucks a month in the discord uh, when the time is ready i'm also dropping analysis on ig threads you can see the handle at the beginning for free if you want to check that out 10 bucks for the signals make sure to sign up to bicket or bybit this is where i do my trading grab those juicy juicy bonuses once you make your first deposit email me or sign up email for for an extra bonus special bonus from jacks and uh, 10 bucks a month for my signals analysis for crypto, crypto news, member profits, hodl all plays, forex signals and analysis. You really can't beat it. Spend $10 every day. Over 2,000 members posting chart patterns, talking all things crypto. Uh, all links are in the comments. Smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. And I'll see you in the next video. Much love. Take care.